In this picmonic, we go over how to use prioritization in exam questions. To remember this, see how another student creates stories and a list of priorities to remember prioritization in order to ace his exam. Patients that fall into the first level of prioritization are ones having ABC issues. A stands for airway, shown as the airway. B is for breathing, shown literally as the girl breathing. And C is for circulation, the circulation symbol. These patients require immediate attention because they will not live without urgent interventions. After these patients are cared for, or if there are no patients dealing with ABC issues in question, patients with secondary problems become priority. Change of LOC, or altered mental status, shown as the delta halo, is the first of the secondary problems because it is considered a patient safety concern for falls and injury, among other issues. Sepsis, the sepsis snake, is also a secondary concern. It can cause confusion, breathing changes, elevated heart rate, and lead to further health deterioration. Acute pain, the acute angle pain bolt, is also part of the secondary priority list. Pain is a lower priority because it is manageable and the discomfort can be tolerated for a certain amount of time. Also included in secondary health concerns are untreated medical problems the unsolved medical problem cube. On exam, these may include a diabetic needing insulin, abnormal pathology lab results, and risks of infection. Next, we focus on third-level priorities. Education, shown as the educator, is a third-level problem because a patient's life is not in danger and it can wait until all other health concerns are handled. Included in this tier are patients' feelings, seen as the feelings chart, which can also wait until more critical problems are managed. Finally, a patient waiting to be discharged, shown as the patient waiting, is the very last priority because a patient going home has had their health concerns managed already. During nursing exams, when a question is asking you to prioritize patient care needs, remember Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the Marshmallow's hierarchical pyramid of needs, to remember the different priority categories and how to prioritize patients. In summary, Patient care can be prioritized into three categories to help you recognize patients requiring immediate care on exams. Patients who should be prioritized first include patients with problems concerning airway, breathing, and circulation. The second prioritization is change in LOC, sepsis, acute pain, and untreated medical problems. The third are patients needing education, support with feelings, and a patient waiting to be discharged. To remember these different categories and how to prioritize patients, Maslow's hierarchy of needs can be used. Nursing exams are hard, but not when I got prioritization on my side. I organize patient care like a list of priorities in my head, and it helps me to remember. To ensure that I don't forget any detail, I make little stories about each one. Like, I know ABCs needs to be prioritized first, so I picture it as the one with the youngest characters. There's this teacher, right? And she's holding up a number one foam finger and a chalkboard with the ABCs. But her students are a handful. One is screaming his airway raw. I guess he's upset because the kids are chasing him around. Like this little girl using all her breathing lung power running around. And this kid can't keep up. His circulatory system can't take it. Now I can recall airway, breathing, and circulation. Boom! For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our nursing process Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from the nursing process, assessment, diagnosis, planning, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.